Welcome to another edition of Talking Nachos, where we bring you resources and toppings to help you increase your success, decrease stress, and most of all, reduce the number of times you feel like crying inside a day. My name is Paul Dr. Nacho Goodman. I love doing this. I have a very special announcement to start this show. My very first team member at Dental Nachos has decided to retire from being the head nacho tornado chaser or tamer. Uh, she has been here for three and a half years. Ariel Meredith hiring her is one of the best decisions I've ever made for my whole dentisting life. And we're so glad to have had her contribute to our success, reduce our crying inside, wish her best in the next adventure in her life. But she's giving a parting gift before she goes to you. If you text Ariel to 215-543-6454, if you're one of the sponsors and screenshot this right now and say to your dentist clients, do this. We have three of her favorite CE shows from amazing dentists that you can watch totally for free. Studies show that totally for free is the favorite price of dentists. Five out of five dentists recommend totally free for everything that they do. So best wishes to Arielle and text in her code, text Arielle to 215-543-6454 to get a gift for her before she retires from the head nacho tornado tamer, which is tomorrow. I'm ready for our next guest when you guys are ready to bring up my first guest. So I know I'm gonna bring up, I have one of my people here, a fellow dentist himself, Dr. Luke Morgan. Dr. Luke Morgan, where are you here on planet Earth? And how can we help you with your success in finding an associate? Thanks, Paul. I'm a general dentist in Mechanicsville, Maryland. Uh, right now, I feel like I'm broadcasting from the forest moon of Indoor. I like that. <laughs> nice little wall decor behind me. You know, uh, go Boba Fett. Um, <laughs> we're a, we're, a, we're a, a decent-sized group practice, about a 45 miles south of Washington, D.C., uh, Nice high tech corridor, lots nice. of great patients, lots of great staff. Uh, unfortunately, we're on the way to nowhere, so we don't get a lot of cross traffic. It's not gotcha. like driving. It's not like driving through Baltimore or Columbia or Washington D.C. on the 95 corridor. Uh, got a great team of five dentists and a periodontist. Uh, cool. One of our dentists just retired. She worked for the practice for 27 years. Um, my dad hired nice. her, second generation dentist like yourself, uh, cool. in the mid 90s. So I uh, had a great experience uh, working together the past 17 years since I've been out of school. Uh, so 27 years of full contact arts and crafts on people who don't want to be here. That's dentistry, right? By that's the way, dentistry. That's dentistry. and now you need to replace her. One of the things I like to add value is replacing and looking for a job where you're replacing a dentist part or full time is great because they have a schedule. Tell us a little exactly. bit Luke, about if somebody was to take this position, they can text the Mechanicsville now to learn more about your position. We'll also drop that in the comments. But I, here's dentists. Our dentist people, we love a good detail, right? We want to know if it's a two millimeter or three millimeter probing depth. That's we right. want to know what was the patient's third grade teacher's name. We need the details. So tell us, what will people be doing? Mo what would a dentist be doing most of the time in this practice? Crowns, fillings, night guards, extractions. Tell us a little bit about their daily dental day. Everything. You know, uh, the sky is the limit. Uh, you know, Got to work with my dad the first 10 years of my career, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, one of my mantras the past uh, six months is being true to yourself. Um, yeah. You know, a, a lot of a lot of self-reflection the past couple of years with COVID. Um, if you like it, do it. Uh, yeah. I have a younger associate that's now a partner. Uh, we went full spread rank within the past year. So now we're printing, printing dentures. Awesome. Uh, you know, in-house Invisalign, you know, with the with the through the proper channels, uh, you know, a CBCT, a periodontist on staff who loves to loves to train the younger dentists and, and help guide their hand if they want to place their own implants. That's great. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, the sky is the limit. 100 percent digital suite, which I felt five years ago when we had it was was on the tip. But now I feel that's pretty ubiquitous. With that becomes lot, normal, right? A lot that, of practices that, that, become normalized. So we were that's the, so great. To just We're review, it sounds like your full-time dentist was doing restorative care, but if let's say you're a newer dentist, you want to learn to place implants, you could do that. You're, you're a medium-age dentist, and you want to do digital dentistry, you do that. And you have Absolutely. a team there, and I think it's so valuable that you can rely on other dentists on site to ask questions to, to vent to. Right. It sounds like that you guys have a lot of camaraderie there. Yeah. I, I like when we have staff meetings and introducing new staff, I'll, I'll say, uh, raise your hand if you've worked here longer than I have. And half yeah. the people in the room, you know, their that's hand awesome. goes up. So that's a, that's a great feeling you know, to have that with your staff. Awesome. Well, we are going to uh, go out to the Nachoverse here, get people to text in. It's a full-time job replacing someone 45 minutes from Washington, D.C. We need to find out more about good opportunities. Where, before you jump off, where would someone live, right? Let's say somebody's, I got this. I want to reach out to you, Dr. Morgan. I want to learn about it. I'll move to this area. I'm from upstate New York. Where would be like a good location for an associate to live? 
Wow, that's great. Depending on your preference, if you like rural and country and close to the water, there's some nice little population centers uh, in the area that that my office is in. Um, I don't you call Maryland a northern or southern state. We we go by counties. So St. Mary's County is where my office is. Uh, lots of water. Uh, if you like an affordable house on the water, it's going to be great. If you want to live closer to the city, I've got uh, endodontists and orthodontists that I refer to that that live 45, 50 minutes away, closer nice. to D.C., closer to Annapolis. Um, you know, it's a man. Sounds like you, it sounds You're like you have some good choices there that fit into yeah. your life. Because I always tell people that no matter where you go, being a dentist should only be one part of your life. You have to do things outside the operatory. So whether Absolutely. it's hiking, whether it's going to restaurants and museums. So thanks so much for sharing, Dr. Luke. We're so thanks glad to have you as part of this program. And uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Awesome. So as you guys see, we're trying to bond the dentisting world together with Dentist Job Connect. To learn more about it, my team will drop that in the comments, or you can just text HIRE to 215-543-6454.